All right. Yay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> yes. And we can actually see ourselves. I like this. And it's a little bit more relaxed and chill, like, as far as the live goes. Because it's, like, live is, like, one of those things where, it's like, nothing has to be perfect, right? True. <laughs> that is true. Yes. And it kind of makes for an exciting start, too. I know. <laughs> like, what's going on over there? I know. Okay. So. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> so we're on mascara now. How's my burger bread? It's okay. Oh, you have burger bread? I do. Yeah. I can't even. Okay. Know. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're good. Like, <laughs> you're I didn't good. have Do I have burger bread? onion? I don't know. <laughs> I had onions on my burger. Oh, you did? It was so long. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. So I'm just doing mascara. You have really nice lashes, by the way. Jess. I've been told. They're very, like, They're curled. very, like, natural. Yeah. I think that that's, that helps me a lot because, like, I stopped wearing like lashes I used mm -hmm. to wear lashes and now I just put on like a lot of mascara and kind of get away with that because yeah. like sometimes lashes are like my eyes I think are very like I want to say sensitive but not really but like heavy things like eyelashes sometimes just like really irritate my eyes right and I also had a job where I had to do my full makeup and almost every day so uh -huh. and I had to like put on eyelashes all the time and like I could never do my makeup without eyelashes that I didn't like the way it looked without eyelashes, but I had to like oh. relearn to like like my own eyelashes. They look, they're honestly so beautiful and they're so wispy. Thank you. And like honestly, you don't even really need lashes, right? Because some you're, good yeah, mascara. yes, some good mascara. Go ahead and look up, babe. I'm gonna do the bottom now. Some good mascara, and you're set. Yeah, because um, and I do extensions a lot. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, but it really takes a toll on your real lashes. I've been taking biotin vitamins and stuff for your skin. Oh, okay. Does that, do you think that helps a lot? Um, yeah, I'm sure it does. I feel like I've always kind of had like a lot of extra eyebrows and eyelashes. Yeah. Go ahead and look up it. Um, sorry. No, you're good. But um, I just started taking it so I don't really notice a difference, but I'm taking it mainly because of the, the lack of hair I have on my head. Oh, I see. So it helps with like the follicles to start growing. Yeah. Right? I'm hoping to get my hair on my head to grow thick and long for the most part. Well, it seems like it's helping your lashes too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they look really nice. Thank you. Did you want to do lashes or you want to wait till the end and see? We can. I, I feel like lashes would definitely make the look, but if we can yeah. do it without the lashes, just because I would hate for you to do all that and then like, I may not be going out tonight to wear them, so I'm like, we can just do like maybe like a minimal look. We'll okay, like, yeah. Okay, we'll so we'll do it without lashes. Yeah. As of right now. But I'm glad to know that that's part of the option. Oh, yeah, so definitely. Yeah. I always, always um, incorporate lashes with yeah. any look. That's good. And uh, honestly, lashes just makes a total difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially if you want more of a dramatic look. Right. It's just. It sets the tone. For Especially that. for red carpet and like in front of the camera. Oh, lights. definitely. Yeah. yeah. I always recommend lashes to most Maybe of my clients. Mm -hmm. Even if they say, no, I don't want any. They're like, are you sure? I think you need some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And people don't know how much of a difference it really does make. Right. And then when I put them on, they're like, wow. Like, yeah. wow. Like, mm -hmm. it's just, it makes such a difference. Some girls don't need them because their lashes are freaking amazing and long. Like long, I've had girls longer with longer lashes than yours. Yeah, right. Especially if that's like if it's in your demographic or like your genes to just mm -hmm. have. Yep, naturally long. Definitely. And you know what sucks? Most guys that I run into have long lashes. Guys, yeah. Guys why tend to guys? have longer lashes. Yeah, what if, why they have girls? like the best lashes ever? Right. So I'm like, oh, what, what do you use? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, genetics. Huh. It's crazy, though, because, yeah, for, I guess as, like, women, like, like, why do we have, like, we, we want to have long eyelashes. Why do we not genetically have long eyelashes? I know, but the guys get it. Yeah. And they don't even, <laughs> they take it for granted. Right. <laughs> they don't know what they have. They don't know what they have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is anyone on live yet? Or? Um, Looks like we have, nope, nobody. Nobody? <laughs> That's okay. It's a but Saturday. Also, too, like people um weren't aware of this live, but people will come back and watch later. Oh, I, oh, it's happens. a YouTube one, not a, yeah, not an no. Instagram one. No, right. Oh, so, okay. so it's being recorded. So later is when people oh, will see it on their see. home screen. Oh, okay, okay. They'll come back and watch I get it later. It, I get it. 
So it's it's a forever it's a, it's a forever stream. Oh nice. <laughs> but it's That's live, cool. but it'll be a forever stream. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I'll probably go back to and change the thumbnail and everything later, but for yeah. now it's just a okay. generic thumbnail. Yeah, I thought it was got on one Instagram. person. <laughs> oh cool. They come and go. Oh wait, no. They disappeared. Maybe I was yeah. saying it wrong. <laughs> I'm I delusional. Oh. Okay, you said you're mostly dry everywhere, right? Yeah. Not oily. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. It's a hydrating one. So I use this on uh, most of my clients with super dry skin. Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to hydrate. So honestly, I don't know, because I feel very dry, like in here and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like in this area, too, I've been really dry around the eyebrows. Okay. But um, I, I do uh, experience lately, since I've been taking the vitamins, my skin is a little bit more moisturized. But. Yeah, that's good. It helps mm -hmm. a lot. What type of what are the these vitamins called again? They're just the Ollie ones, and I have two different brand, two different uh, ones. Ones for collagen and biotin. Oh, okay. Or high like vitamin C, and then the other ones got some other vitamins for your skin. Oh, I'll show nice. them to you. They're in the cabinet. Okay, you can cool. see what I'm taking. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I should take them too. <laughs> Oh, well, the first day I took them, it like within like the next day, I already saw like results of my skin. Like, oh, wow. Like when I would go wash my face, I could already tell like that the acne would like, you know, like the blackheads like under the skin were already yeah. coming out. Like I could oh, see them like nice. relieving themselves. How does this keep <laughs> Wait, sorry. It's okay. The best thing about production is that there's always going to be errors. It's how you handle them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The edit yeah. part, huh? Yeah. Well, with this live, thank God I probably won't have to go back and edit as much. But with the first 35 minutes that we recorded, I'll definitely make it to a video. Um, so people can kind of go from this one to that one. Oh, okay. Or go from that one to this one, at least. Let's see. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the in the in the chat. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I love answering questions. You do. I'm trying to see. Your, can I see your chest real quick? Mm -hmm. So I can like match that. Okay. Because <laughs> yes. your your face is a little lighter than your chest and yeah. your neck area. I used to go. To, uh, I still have a tanning membership, but I go to the tanning salon every once in a while. So like my yeah. face will get pinker mm -hmm. other days, and so I I can't even color match my own. It's makeup. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have a, I don't know, it's a mixture between, like, olive and uh, warm, mm -hmm. like, red, you know, warmer red tone. Yeah. So, I'm trying to debate. And I'm going to use the MAC foundation on you also. I think I'm going to go in with NC15 and see how this looks. Yeah. Okay. Because your face is a, is a little bit more on the warm side, but your neck is more olive, so. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna color match you right here. Looks pretty good. Plus, I'm gonna contour you and warm you up too. So okay. yeah. So we'll go in with this tone actually. Okay. And this is concealer. No, this is a uh, foundation. Foundation. So okay. the Mac Studio Fix Foundation, okay. which is a uh, full coverage. Yeah. So there's been this big. Thing in the makeup industry, like with all like the makeup gurus who like make the YouTube videos, oh yeah, of like what order to do certain things. Oh yeah, uh -huh. and so so many people were asking, like, do you do foundation first or concealer? And I've always wanted to know. Uh huh. I don't even use foundation anymore. I just simply do concealer, concealer. and spot, and then I just go in with the blush. <laughs> okay, what? Well, but it's more for like a natural. Look. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always use foundation on all my clients. Um, only because usually, you know, when I do professional makeup or they want they want full coverage you right know? right exactly they want that um that's what they're paying for right. so i always incorporate foundation yeah in every single application i do that's good whenever i do a show i and i get my makeup done i prefer that they do full coverage yeah because i don't ever do full coverage on myself usually yeah it makes a huge difference right especially for like screen and you know yeah. that type of in the industry oh, right so whenever i get my makeup professionally done mm -hmm. i and it's good i just like love the way i look and feel like a different person and then i'm like 
<laughs> I'm going to do my makeup like this more often, like do like the whole contouring and everything. Cause I don't even really contour. I just throw blush on. Yeah. And, and when I used to do like the nose contouring, all that, like it structures my face and makes my face look so different that I almost don't recognize, like I recognize myself, but I'm like, I look so pretty, like at certain events, like that I got my makeup done and I'm just like, people react differently when you look a certain way. A certain way. Mm. So I'm like, man, like I need my makeup professionally. <laughs> Always. <laughs> like that, that happens to me with my hair. Like right before an event, I had one of my hair artists do my hair. Uh -huh. And I have beautiful hair for this event. And uh -huh. I I was definitely like getting a lot more like attention. attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I need to get my hair professionally Aww. done more often at these events. What does she do to your hair? Does she like style well, it she, a certain way or? She did um like a toner that day and then she she styled it, but then like whatever she used on my hair made it look so like just silky, silky and smooth and, and bouncy. Ooh. And even with how windy it was at this event, mm -hmm. my hair still looked pretty. Damn. Because <laughs> the wind was like blowing it out. No but, way. But it was still like it would have been ten times prettier, but it was still very pretty because just the texture. Right. It's like right. something she's shampooed on my hair or something like that. Oh, just wow. made made it shiny and like really pretty. Yep. And it smelled good. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely I felt like helps. a whole different person, let's just say. Oh, It's just crazy how, like, hair and makeup can really, like, make you feel more confident. And, like, oh, my gosh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, definitely, for any event. Yeah. Do you do a lot of content, like, creating with your makeup stuff? Like, do you film, like, a lot of your before you know, and afters? And um, well, I will, but not during the process. Yeah. That's what I need to get more into is, like, me actually doing the makeup. Yeah. I need to, um, you know how a lot of people do the, what's it called, the time lapse? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to do stuff like that. Yeah. It's just, like, ugh, my iPhone has, like, no storage for stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, I have a GoPro. It does a time lapse feature. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. maybe like it could be in the in the budget to get like a cheap GoPro. I'm sorry. I yeah. Uh, so is GoPro? It's just like a little mini camera. Yeah. That, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and maybe then you just get a small tripod. And... Yeah, and get set it up and just put on time lapse. And with oh. time lapse, like, um, we'll save so much memory already. And the thing with GoPro is you just it transferred over. Oh, I see. To your phone. Yeah, your I computer. should definitely try that then. Okay, I'm gonna. I thought about filming the... with my GoPro, but. I, I don't film from my GoPro often, so I'm not yeah. too familiar, but it could be a good idea for like yeah, the time lapse. Definitely. Thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Tarte um, Shape Tape. If this is the ultra creamy one, because there's three different types of shape tapes. Yeah. Now. So I'm doing the more creamier one on you since you're super dry. Okay. And this is concealer? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. This, is this one, um, the shade I'm doing on you is very light neutral. Okay. So it's a little bit lighter than the foundation I put on you. Yeah. So I'm just putting this under your under your eye. Okay. Do you know who Cole Wallister is? Did we talk about this before? Cole Wallister? Cole Wallister. No. Yeah. No. no? It's like, uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So you might not know the name, but do you know like the high speed slow motion glam bot that they use on the red carpets for the celebrities? Wait a minute. Mm slow you mean like the, the high speed slow motion camera i'm gonna show you what okay saying. okay yeah that's so funny the reason i'm saying this is because one time i had this makeup artist do my makeup for um a show that he was directing that i was a part of uh -huh. and i just remember like the glam bot was something that i always wanted to be shot on uh -huh. and like to have like that my makeup fully done and hair done like i did like my hair and makeup was done that day oh wow and um in between cuts like the makeup artist would come over and she'd like tap me up and oh, so it was like you know like so a big cool. deal yeah and so i felt pretty right my makeup but i don't know what i look like like i want to see that footage but i won't be able to see it but oh. he shot me on the glam bot and i can only imagine like because like the slow motion, I gotta show you, okay? okay? And I'm not worried about the time now that we're on live because we can go live for as long oh, as we want. Oh, we don't, really? have, oh, we don't cool. have a memory problem now, so we oh, can nice. we can talk about whatever and not have to um except we do have to be careful with curse words or whatever, obviously. Um but now we're not really in a rush. I can show you something. <laughs> I have to show you the glam bot though. Okay. Okay. Is anyone online right now or no? No. Okay. I can't, I can't see I'm blind. Because <laughs> it says zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna show you the glam bot. Show me the glam bot. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, so this is him. Wow, his following is really getting bigger. Okay, so here's like for instance, like this guy on the red carpet, and I'm sure you've you've seen these videos at least at one point. 
What is he doing? So he's directing a camera shot, and this is Ariana Grande. And then, so there's the shot. It's really quick. The camera comes flying in, and it's within seconds. And then he'll show the result. So just give it a second, and he'll show the result. She's beautiful. That is so cool. I just can't put it on Herrick's copyright. But. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, honestly. <laughs> I guess he's showing. Oh, he's taking a selfie. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. He usually shows the. Oh, there it is. There's the result. Oh, my so God. like just so glam, right? Yeah. So I was like happy that I got to work with him because I, I want to know what I look like on the other side of this oh. lamp bot, but I never got to see the and results. that's the guy that yeah. was there? Yeah, so he he was directing the set that I was on and I had my hair and makeup done. Oh my god. And he shot me on the glam bot and I'm like, I want to see this oh, video. Oh, <laughs> that would have been so, oh my god. Yeah, that would have been so awesome to see like me dolled up and like yeah, hair and makeup with like, yeah. the glam bot shooting me. Dude. Cole, where's oh my, my glam bot uh, footage? <laughs> Please no, let me I have it. That. I know. I need to show that off. Yeah. Okay, let me see. So. But the reason why I was telling you about that is because I'm sure if I was to see that footage, I'd be like, wow. Like, you know what I mean? I'd yeah. Have to her and makeup. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yes. Okay. We have one right now. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Leave us Hi. questions in the, in the chat. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in with. So this is from Selena Gomez. Oh, Selena. Selena Gomez. This is her cream stick contours. Okay. This one is in, in Happy Soul. So she has different tones. Okay. So I'm just going to start contouring her face. <laughs> so the, the main goal, like the end goal here, like for your makeup career mm -hmm. is to do some dream collabs. With oh, some, definitely. Yeah. Some, like big, uh, like Mac Daddy and a lot of big industry people. Like YouTubers. Yeah, get my stuff more out there. Maybe do possibly, you know, celebrities, a lot more celebrities. and Yeah. So actually, um, somebody that I worked with, Eric. His uh -huh. girlfriend does wedding stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm. I don't know if I if I could try to connect you guys, but I'm, oh, I know yeah. she does wedding stuff and like she does wedding gowns and like stuff like that. Ooh. So I was like, maybe like oh she could God. be looking for like a wedding makeup artist oh, or yeah. something. Who knows? But I love to connect industry. people. Yeah. yeah thank so you for that. I'll keep an Appreciate eye that. out and see if I can like, send a word over. There. Thank you. Yeah. Who knows? You never know. Is she from this area too? <laughs> I think she's in LA now, but her and Erica are originally from. Georgia, I believe, oh, wow. if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that's what her main gig is, is wedding dress and work. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So does she make them like custom? I don't I don't think she makes them. I think she's just more um, like sells. Like a representative. Like, representative oh, okay. Something like that. Yeah. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wedding business is very, it's a big industry, but a very small. Like we all kind of like, yeah. you know, especially in my area, a lot. I know a lot of, um, people in the industry that do different things like, you know, DJs or caterers mm -hmm. or anything that has to do with um, special events and yeah. weddings. Event planning. And Event stuff. planning. Yeah. Coordinators, all that. Yeah. Okay. So it's good to know. It's good to know people. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I can refer them out. Photographers, videographers. Look, an right. And yeah. it's like, let's just say like hypothetically, you do my makeup right now. And then someone I know, or myself, or someone, um, get, like Lindsay, who knows, right? Oh, yeah. Lands a big gig and needs to hire a makeup artist for it. And then it's just like a snowball effect. So it's like it could be like a big production. Oh, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, like definitely. a Cole Wallace or Glam Bot production or something, right? That you're like, so cool. You're yeah. like getting your makeup on the Glam You're like, I yes, know. goals, hashtag I know. mama made it. I know. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. You just never know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it, it's it's cool that we're we're so close to LA too. Right. So there's right so here. much yeah. opportunities. Yeah. Opportunities in LA. That's so, so it's true. good to network and know people. Yeah. That's why I came to LA. All the opportunity. Definitely. Yeah. There's a lot more. You feel like it's a lot more opportunity here yes. than New York yes. or any other. So place? it depends on what you're trying to do, right? Like if yeah. you're in entertainment in general and you're like you really want 
to kind of like get in front of the camera. Yeah. Whatever it's the makeup or the designing, it's here. I mean, it's New York here. has yeah. a good market for fashion for sure, but yeah. and film. But I feel like Hollywood is, is where really that. where the writers are and the 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 camera people like everything. Everything. Is here. Yeah. 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 Definitely. The commercials. Like there's so much work elsewhere, but it's like yeah. here it's is so much more here. Like the studios are here. The production Everything, companies, yeah. like the biggest ones, like you got Warner Brothers here. You don't got, you don't have Warner Brothers out and there. ABC like out no. there in New York or in Miami, like. But there's work there, like in Miami and New York and stuff, but not like they're not here. here, right? Here, it's here. This so, is production and entertainment is here, definitely. Because like, think about it, like how successful, like as a comedian, could you be, like if you're just in Miami, like. You know what I mean? Like you're just doing shows or something. And maybe yeah. social media, if you do social media, right? But like, right, right. like, are you really going to the studios and like really like connecting with like people, big production people? Yeah. yeah. This is not. A yeah, we call. have a lot. Huh? Leah said this is the. Oh, she said that. Um, this is a cake pop. Oh, I <laughs> my tampons. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat it now. No. <laughs> 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 no, she's so funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> okay, so I went in with the cream contour, and then I put a little bit of the uh, cream blush from Rare Beauty as well, Selena Gomez line. Okay, um, it's very popular right now. Yeah. And then I'm did gonna she go just in. drop this line? No, it was been out for possibly two years now. Oh wow, I want to say. it's okay. fairly new, yeah. honestly. Okay. Sephora, yeah, they just started selling it not too oh, long ago. Oh, so they, they just got a hold of it. Yeah. Okay. But it's very it's very clean. Um, her line, yeah, she doesn't. Like use, it's like a vegan. Oh, I oh, yeah. love that. Okay, yeah. yeah. I actually, um, I have this same tattoo Selena Gomez has. I believe she's the same one. Oh, semicolon. Oh, okay. So long story short. I was dating a guy and him and I would binge watch 13 Reasons Why, which is a TV show. I remember that show. And when we broke up to get back at him in a way or to be like, I can do whatever I want in a way, like as far as like I, I can make things happen. Uh -huh. I went and researched like how to get involved to be on set. And then they were casting. And then I was picked to be like an extra. And I was able to be a part of a few of the episodes. So I like drove all the way to San Francisco yeah. where they're filming and like live, live for 13 like, reasons why. No way. Yeah. So being a part of the show, I got to meet like some of the cast members. Oh and, like, my I was, gosh. Was it, yeah. So I was like able to get involved. And then the show is about a girl who killed herself. So it's like suicide prevention. Right. And right. Um, so some of the cast and Selena, since she was like one of the like directors, like I never got to see her on set, but I think she was like behind the scenes for the most part. Like yeah. she just kind of was like one of the people who made all the like final decisions, decisions in the office. Oh, okay. And um, she got this semicolon. So semicolon means to continue your sentence. So it's like when you chose, when you wanted to like end it, but you mm -hmm. chose to continue it. So it kind of like relates to like when you wanted to end your life, but you continued it. And so Aww. like, I think she's the same one. And I got it cause I was on the show and I was like, I want to kind of like be a part Aww, of that. That's so cause cool. I can relate. Yeah. So I just Aww. wanted to tell you that story. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do, so do you, were you, did you see yourself in the episodes? So I believe they cut me out of the episodes I was in because the, few scenes that I was supposed to be in I was either right on the edge and they like cut me out oh, and then man. a whole scene that I like I was right up front and featured I think they cut me out long story short and I'll oh, admit like, I don't like the final cut oh, yeah that sucks yeah but I'm sorry I apologize I I'm just a super fan okay <laughs> I mean hey I'm sure it's not the gonna, first or last time do? now what are you gonna do this is not the first right? time. I, I didn't mean. hurt nobody <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. But I probably won't ever do that because, like, that's how nowadays cancel culture happens. And, like, people immediately, um, they everyone knows everybody. So the, if your industry. name is, like, known, like, she never returned her wardrobe. So the first thing they think is, like, we're, like, going to You're not reliable. Like, yeah, like, they don't want to trust you. Cancel you from yeah. Hollywood completely. That's it's, crazy. And oh. Cancel culture is a thing. It's, like, it only takes one chance for, like, one director to say, put her on the burn list. Like, there's oh. got to be, like... You know, like a, a Hollywood list of people who are like, don't work for her. You know what I mean? Right. Not saying that that's the case, but like that could happen. Yeah. And it's happened to a lot of people in Hollywood, like directors who all like are in the director's guild or whatever. Uh -huh. And like they just know each other. And so they're like, here are some names to just don't, don't work, work with. with her. Yeah. 
but that goes for like celebrities too that they don't want to work with right. that are very hard to or difficult, difficult to work yeah. With. yeah when i was lucky enough to get to set on with machine gun kelly on the second music video that i was uh -huh. on i was 45 minutes late oh but I know, and I was like, this is the biggest job of my life. Oh like, my one gosh. of my biggest, like, best. Like, and highlight, I, the highlight and I was of your late, career. And I was, I felt so bad, because you know they, like, pay, like, hourly for studio stuff. Oh, wow. And so I felt like I might have inconvenienced them. I felt so bad. Why were you so late? Traffic. I did oh. not know. And I lived here. I lived in Huntington oh. at that time. Yeah. Before, when they text me for the first one, it was like within the hour, they're like, just come right away. And I got a text with an address and like, I got there in 45 minutes oh. and, and it was okay that I was late, but this yeah. one was like a full booking. Like, like here's the time and day. Let me know ahead of time. Like before it was just more of like, just show up and be a part of it. Right. And this one was like a full on like actual studio, like check in, sign the uh, contract or whatever. Oh, wow. And I was, I was late and I felt so bad. And like, the thing is, is I was like, probably like the only, like one of the main people there that they were like really wanted on set because they knew me prior. Oh, yeah. So they already knew me before coming and they're like, everyone else is on time. And like the one person who's, this is her big day Yeah. and yeah. she's late. And I'm like, I think they understood because I was like, I was so excited, so nervous. I was running around doing all these things. I was like doing face mask and like trying to look pretty and like Aww. everything perfect. Yeah. Getting the car in time. I had to make sure I had my coffee. I wanted to make sure my eyelashes were perfect. Like, yeah. and I'm like on the way there, I'm like driving so fast and I'm like late already. And I'm just like, but this is the biggest day yeah. in a while because like this is so anticipated and such a big thing to be a part of because I'm like, originally when I went to his first set, uh -huh. I barely even knew him. So oh, I like yeah. wasn't as big of a fan. Yeah. And then after like two years of like him dropping music and going on tour and me attending his, his um, concerts and stuff, I became more of a fan, right? Oh, like, nice. you know, over time. Yeah. And so this was like a big thing for me. And I, I was so disappointed that I was late. I felt so bad. I was like, please don't, don't oh, cancel me. <laughs> I, know. I hope that that doesn't take away the opportunity to have another chance to work with, the with crew him if they're yeah. passing again. Yeah. What did they, did they, can you they tell? Really, like, no, no, they didn't really care. No, I no. think they were like more like, we know this is such a big day for her is what I felt. Oh. And I think they were like very like, okay, like it's going to be okay because we know how, how important this is to her. And yeah. who knows, they probably like, who knows what happened on the way here. Like she's probably having the worst day of her life on the biggest day of her life. You know uh, what yeah, I mean? Like, At you least you got their safe. Yeah, you know? right. Yeah. And, and honestly it ended so perfect because as I was like leaving, he obviously recognized me so he, yeah so yeah. he was like yeah we watch your videos that's why i watch it uh, <laughs> i doubt it but um he definitely was just like yeah like i'd love to show you this song that i haven't released yet and showed oh. me and a couple of people like nine lives before it was released oh wow so we were like special we felt special that i felt so special dope. Yeah. yeah i mean there wouldn't have been any other way that i would want it even though i was late and everything and i felt terrible the ending was perfect yeah and like I was on cloud nine all the way home. I was yes. like in tears, like just so happy. And like my, one of the directors on set or like somebody who's like cleaning up the set was just like, did you get to meet him? And I was like, Aww. yes. And I was like literally in tears. Aww. Yeah, it was great. So what, uh, what was this for? That was for his music video, um, Vivo for God Save Me. Oh, okay. So you'll see like extra people kind of running around in the background dancing. I'm back there somewhere, but oh, okay. just an extra. Yeah. Again. Yeah. yeah. But you can still see yourself in the video. Yeah. Right? I know where I am, but I feel like you wouldn't recognize me otherwise. Because oh, no. like one of the scenes we had like on these like masks, oh. they may just put on like these masks as part of the costume. Oh, that's cool. And so you don't really know which one's me unless you know, like, I'm like, that's me. Yeah. yeah. But I'm there. I'm a body. I wear, I, you know, I got yeah. to see the whole thing behind the scenes and get to meet him. And like, that's it was so perfect. Cool. Yeah. It was one of the best days of my life on set. Aww. So like, if somebody was in a room me and they were like, what's like, one of your favorite projects, I'd be like that the one Machine for sure. Kelly, yeah. That one or the I think I'm okay because Travis Barker and Young Blood was there. Ooh. And Lawson, so I like got to go to that. And I obviously didn't even really know Machine Gun Kelly then. Like it's a long story. Like I was at a club the night before and saw him, didn't know who he was. Uh huh. And had a moment, and then like looked up his Instagram only because like some of the girls that were there that night were like, um. <laughs> Oh, Machine Gun Kelly's in the building, and I'm like, who's Machine Gun Kelly? Uh -huh. But I already knew, like, this tatted white boy that was there and uh -huh. had seen him previously at, like, Dan Blazarian's Halloween party and stuff. And I was just like, oh, it's, like, that Hollywood kid that's, like, around a lot, and he seems, like, someone important because he's with, like, like what looked like a crew and, like, bodyguards or something. Yeah. And um, it 
came to me to like check because the girls were like, oh, Machine Gun Kelly. And I was like, let me see what Machine Gun Kelly is. I swear to God, if it's him. Uh-huh. And then, of course, the Instagram popped up and it was him. And I was like, uh-huh. oh, yeah. I put two and two together. And yeah. then, like, the link in bio was like, submit for like the video and uh-huh. I was like I'm not gonna get picked but and I like took this drunken selfie photo of my car because I couldn't drive yet because I was too drunk uh-huh. so I was like in the car for an hour like oh taking gosh. selfies to wow. like submit and then I was like they'll never text me the next day I'm like doing my makeup trying to try to do a makeup YouTube video oh wow which is still out there it's, it's no horrific way. yeah oh it's so gosh, embarrassing so <laughs> I was doing like a makeup tutorial and I was uh-huh. just like yeah like I start off with this mud mask face and uh-huh. you're like and then I get a text and then I completely stop doing the makeup tutorial do my makeup really quick get in the car and then I get I get to set and I'm like I, I see everything's going on and everything's already started. I'm like I put on this like hoochie ass dress that didn't fit me. I was oh like what was gosh. I thinking? I was like oh trying to look good and I'm like yeah, trying to be yeah. sexy. Oh. And, like I was like just new to LA too, so I was like trying. I was just oh, so excited. Trying, yeah, I yeah, know what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. trying a little <laughs> trying too hard. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 trying a little too hard. I'm like what the hell? So <laughs> yeah, and look at you now. I know, right? Right? That's so cool. Here I am. That is so dope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do your lips. Okay. Okay. Um they're dry. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was gonna say they're a little they're a little choppy. Yeah. <laughs> so let me give you some of this. But what tones do you like to use for um, color? Nudes and like if we go like darker, it would be like a purple, like a like a burgundy or something. Oh, Usually okay. I st- I, st- I don't really do a lot of reds or yeah. like pinks. Yeah. I don't know why. They just even if they look good, I don't know if I if I like that myself. On you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna do like a more of a nude natural okay. look. Yeah, today, so. that works. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Aquaphor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do uh, one of my favorite nude tones. Okay. From Mac. It's called Honey Lush. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this so you can see the tone. Oh yeah, that's what do you think of that? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, a little pink, but yeah, looks good. I, I like the nudes. Yeah, this one's like one of my favorites. So I'm gonna do this, and then I can do it with more of a brown uh, liner. Okay. A brownish tone liner, okay, so yeah. it's not so pink. You know yeah. what I mean? Okay. So let me see here. Mm. Actually, let's see. Bite me. Bite me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Is that that's, too, is that too dark or is no, that that's okay? Perfect. Okay. Looks kinda like colors I would use. That you would use, yeah. yeah. So let me just um Do you want goldfish? Being a makeup artist is, is tough because like everyone has like their particular type of colors or like way they wanna do something. So yeah. a lot of people are stuck in their own way that they don't wanna like step out like for, let's say I do my own makeup yeah. and it's like to let someone else do my makeup is tough because it's like I have particular set in your way. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are like that. Oh, yeah. Whenever I go to set and I let a makeup artist do my makeup, it's a hit or miss. It really is. And um, it's usually not likely that I'm like, I'm like, Loving this it. is great. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Um, I, I know as a makeup artist, it must be tough because you want the uh the person to let like oh yeah it. definitely and, and people are picky too and oh tough especially mm-hmm. like you were saying like if you're trying to apply like the eyeliner and and they're not um receiving it well right. it could be hard for you to even apply it yeah so then it becomes difficult for you to do your best work on somebody who might not be able to be cooperative with you <sighs> definitely yeah and um and i notice as well too like at a lot of fashion shows there's a lot of uh newer artists mm-hmm. that are just barely getting into the game yeah. to try to get exposure try to get their name out there and you know it's good for their their profile Mm -hmm. um a lot of them don't know what they're doing Mm -hmm. and color matching and you know it's it's hard um there is a few shows that i've done where the girl models would actually come to me to fix their makeup Mm -hmm. because they're they didn't really like the you know how the artist did it yeah so um i've experienced that a lot too but it's just you know it's it's hard it's you can't please everybody right you know and um there's a lot of picky women out there as well and I just try my best, you know. That's right. all you can do is try your best. True. And if they don't, I'm not for everybody, right. you know. I'm not right. for everybody, so mm-hmm. I'm not. No one's perfect, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've yeah. had I've had horror stories too, but mm-hmm. you learn as you go, you know. Yeah, it's true. I I've been there where mm-hmm. I got my makeup done mm-hmm. and I had to go fix it because yeah. I was like, there's no way I can walk on a show or get my photos taken like that. The way and you like look. that. Yeah. yeah. I think we've Definitely. talked about this off screen, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I it's, it's happy. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. 
it's it's hard. So they're, they're new too, so you can't really like put yeah, a lot man. of shame on them. You right, know, right. They're just learning. They're learning. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of these fashion shows get all these newbies because you know it's for exposure. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know that's why that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. But mm -hmm. and I know models want the best makeup artists, but it's it's hard too when they don't they mm -hmm. don't get the the pay or you know right yeah so. Yeah. Sometimes you have to pay for quality. Right. You know? It's true. Right. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, lining your lips. Okay. Do you like overdrawn lips, or do you want me to just draw them like right on the line? Do you want Kylie okay. Jenner lips? Yeah. <laughs> Give me Kylie Jenner lips. Okay. I'm gonna overdraw them <laughs> just a okay. tad bit. Not too crazy, but but you have really nice uh, lips I, already. I got in my upper lip. Done. Um, done years yeah. ago. So every once in a while, like depending on how healthy or hydrated I am, you can see that they're like they look good. Yeah. But if I'm like dehydrated, they get like tight again and tight. Like, not yeah. As, yeah. Know, as plump, but um, oh, good still. Thank you. I I do notice every once in a while like uneven like bow or whatever. It's yeah. Called. And that happens too, especially when you get your lips done. Yeah, and then over time they just kind of kind of uneven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they they just like get flat again. <laughs> right. I know. I ha I haven't done my lips in over a year, so I yeah. feel like mine are super oh, small. They look good. Still, Thank though. you. Yeah, yeah I feel like you have to maintain though. Right? Yeah, definitely. Because after six months, it starts fading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starts going when away. I had gotten my lips done, I only wanted a little bit, uh -huh. and they did really good. And then like. For like the next like three weeks, I felt so good. And I was like, yeah. all my photos, and people were like, yo, like you didn't do too much. I was like, yeah. you made the perfect, it was like the perfect. And mm -hmm. people complimented so much more because people, like, I didn't tell people because people would have been angry. They're like, what are you doing? Putting your, like, yeah. like filling your list. What? Like back home in the South, like we don't do that. Oh, okay. so, so, um, but people were like, whatever you did, like it looks good. Yeah. Like, it, it enhanced it. Wow. Yeah. And I was That's happy good. with it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Even a little goes a long way, you know? Mm -hmm. And you feel, like, more confident. Mm -hmm. And then there's girls out there that are blessed with nice, big, juicy lips. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to use your restroom real quick. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm just outlining with the brown. And then I'm going to go in with the Honey Love color from MAC. This is my very favorite nude lipstick from MAC. So I'm going to go in with this. I sanitized everything already. Okay. The light's already on, right? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> but you can turn it on. Yeah, this one is my go-to uh, for nude. There's more. There's lighter nudes out there, but this is like a perfect. I, I think it's like a perfect nude for different skin tones. Mm -hmm. Looks so pretty. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in with the brush and then just like even everything out. Kind of blend everything together. So it's not so harsh of a line, you know? Mm -hmm. Unless you wanna bring the 90s back and do the super dark <laughs> lip liner with the Some super people, light yeah. lips. Some people, yeah, yeah, the trend is is coming, coming back. back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen it. Oh yeah. I see a lot of girls want me to do that. Yeah. And um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it, too. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of cool trends that are making its way mm -hmm. back. And, like, using, like, different colors and stuff. Like, a lot of colors were in back in the 90s and 80s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, trends come back around a lot. Just like hair trends too, like mm -hmm. the mullet style. Oh, how guys are rocking. Guys are doing that now. Yeah, yeah, guys are rocking that like no other now. Oh yeah. Well, what was I was watching the one podcast called Her Daddy, and mm -hmm. who, who was just on it? What's his name? What's that guy's name? Who? Uh, name? The one that had that viral moment on the Vogue red carpet with um, Emma Chamberlain. What was his oh, name? Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't away. think of his name. God, but like, I know exactly, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Ah, uh, why am I drawing a blank? But uh, him, anyways, he was like, hey, he's a bullet now. Yeah, dude, yeah, no, the, uh, and then the oh, famous, boy, um, Bessel Bluma, I don't know. Oh, if you okay. Know. He, he like, has a, a reggaeton. Spanish, like Spanish, Spanish, yeah. Yeah, he's really big, too, and he has the, the he's been rocking the bullet. What you want? And he, oh, high school, okay. like, I, that's a trend in high school now too. In middle school, I see a lot of boys do that. So I'm like, wow. 
the 80s are coming back yeah i don't know i don't see the girls doing the huge big hair but who yeah. knows Maybe soon. who knows the aquanet's gonna make its way back yeah but yeah i mean i don't know if i would do that mm -hmm. right Maybe for an 80s party, but I don't know. But, I mean, the mullet, people, guys are rocking that like no other now. Yeah. So. It's crazy. I never thought that trend would come back. Yeah. You you would be surprised. A couple years ago, um, when I was in New York, because, like, New York, it styles, like, before anywhere else, pretty much. Oh, that's right. And I, like, saw, like, people wearing, like, these super platform shoes, and I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, you look like you're like getting, the like, alien Like, the 90s platforms? Yeah. 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 Like, or, like. You know, shoes with like extra platform and like like people were like wearing shoes that were modern day style with like the platforms and I was like that's a weird combination. Oh. And now you see it popping up in fashion everywhere now. It's like on the runway and like now I will always buy my shoes like platforms. these with the extra platforms the on the bottom. Oh, is that how the what they were rocking in yeah, New York? Yeah, New York, but like some of, some of them were double the size of that. And oh, like, dang! And like you see that's... it now, like the big chunky boots and stuff but yeah. like back then it was like weird at first because it was like we weren't used to it as a society oh yeah that. yeah because exactly. it was like an old trend and then you're like they're trying to bring it back and i was like this like, is like a funky fashion thing and now it's everywhere that's crazy yeah. right that's crazy mm -hmm. yeah or like i remember the sodas i don't know if you're the soda shoes s-o-d-a mm -hmm. yeah there was soda shoes and um in the 90s where they were like literally like sandal types but the platforms like this high oh yeah and girls in the 90s would oh, wear yeah. that to school right yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah those are coming back those are coming back yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so a lot of cool trends are making its way bell bottoms too the bell bottoms yeah. Oh, yeah. have been back yeah. for a while thing lately, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah so it's, now it's, i feel like you know how like at one point like when we were younger, like the low waisted stuff was like popular, and then it went yeah. up to high waisted. High waist, yeah. Do you think it'll go back to low waist? I don't know. I'm I'm I love the high waist. High waist yeah. yeah, it just hides everything. I know, right? So. It just kind of like makes you more hourglass. Yeah. That's yep. Yeah. yeah. But um, or the ripped people would used to rip their jeans like the low, you know, to make it more low waisted. Oh, they would rip yeah. their jeans like like I don't know if you remember the Mariah Carey Heartbreaker video. No, the but, one with Jay Z. Oh, and, and they're just wearing, like loose jeans. Yes, yeah. she, like she rips it. She because she used to do that back in her day, like in high school or whatever. Right. And then she was trying to like she did that style in that video, and I thought it was super cute. Oh, okay. So she was trying to make that trend come back, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's where like a lot of the trends start. Is like the celebrities just the celebrities. Yeah, sort of, definitely. Like old trend vibe oh yeah style. celebrities have a huge play a huge role in trends yeah, it's true if a celebrity is doing something everybody's gonna or try yeah or want if they're if they're rocking a new bag even though it looks like crap mm -hmm. everyone's gonna and it costs like a million dollars right like everyone's gonna go buy it yeah even though it's ugly you right, know right like the kanye west shoes the i know right you're like I don't know how. Have you seen like the um the Crocs, like the newer yeah. ones? Like yeah. they're just d different. And I'm just like, interesting. wow. I wonder how comfy they are, though. Yeah, I, I wonder, you know. I don't like, know. Crocs are so popular, and like now they have like all these like cool little things you can put into the Crocs to design your the own. jewels, the be yeah. yeah, bedazzle them. Oh and... my god! Then some of the crazy designs that they have for those, like they uh -huh. have like flashlights and like <laughs> just weird stuff. I've I know. seen it. Like it's so funny. It is. Oh, like, they wait. They have flashlights that work. Yeah, like little flashlights to put in the Crocs. Oh. Oh Girl, if you go to like some of the websites, like like the the one off like weird like like knickknackable yeah. things, yeah. they have like the Croc plug in pieces, you know, like the jewels, and you can get them where like they have, they have flashlights on them. Oh I saw it on Timu or whatever. This is too much. <laughs> yeah, this I know. Is way too much. I can't keep. I don't even have Crocs, but I have friends who have Crocs, and they actually just watched a video, Eric's video. Um, no, it was Ryan Trahan's video. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Trahan just dropped a video where he was like trying out tiny homes uh -huh. and he had crocs all the way through the video where he they were um shrek crocs oh my god <laughs> oh my god right yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah that was weird or, but yeah i mean you know to each his own right to each his own yeah. you never know you never know what you style know. is gonna exactly. interest me. <laughs> you know okay look up i'm gonna go over this really quick and then i have to let you see your makeup it looks yeah. so pretty i was just looking in the mm -hmm. um Viewfinder. I was like, oh, I do look good. Yeah, you look so pretty. Thank you. I think you did you water up a little bit, right? Like proof that you I were. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would have kept that forever. I have photos, so yeah. I guess that's all. That oh, you have photos, photos of me. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, <laughs> that'll work too. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me show. Oh, here. 
I'm going to give you my mirror oh. so you can see how All I right. look and let me know if that's something you would rock. Yeah, totally. Oh, I look good. <laughs> Ooh, in my hairstyle too. Right? What and I love is that my, my face looks clean. Yes. Like smooth. Like yeah. for me, like when I apply my makeup, sometimes I'm like, it's chunky. I don't know if it's because like cakey yeah because yeah. so like sometimes like when i when i go to put on um my blush mm -hmm. over top of my concealer the concealer starts to dry so mm. then when i when i put the blush on i'll take the blush brush mm -hmm. and then it'll make the concealer kind of like Creamier. even more dry oh really yeah oh. It, maybe it's my makeup maybe because wow. i used really good makeup <laughs> well yeah i mean <laughs> and you laid it on well too so it thank looks great thank you thank you so much Ooh. and i try to make your skin look more hydrated and it more, definitely you does. know what i mean like, i kind of love dewy. that look like, yeah the dewy look dewy is in right now yeah honestly a lot of my brides want the dewy look the eye makeup is perfect thank you Ooh, let's get a close-up Let's see if we can get the light off. I don't know if that's going to be like really. Like, <laughs> I'll post pictures. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll take some pictures. Some yeah. Good, some good. I pictures. wish you guys can see it from this view. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's we got really some hearts. It's really pretty. Thank you for the hearts. Let's see what we uh, – oh. I don't wear makeup, but I would love to see her do yours. Oh. Well, she is doing mine. You yeah. guys are so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so sweet. Okay. Yeah, so – and then um, let me spray you. Okay. This is like one of my favorite setting sprays. It's the um, so it's from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know if you've heard of that brand. It's a really it's a high end brand. They sell it at Sephora and um, Nordstrom's. Yeah. So um, this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Ooh, okay. um, I usually use this for more of my drier skin clients. Yeah. And it's gonna help set your makeup in and last um, longer throughout the day without it breaking apart or. Yeah. Um, you know, it keeps everything intact. Yeah. Yeah. And it smells okay. pretty good too. Okay. 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 So go ahead and close your eyes. I'm just going to spray some all over. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Know. I love it. Okay. <laughs> and it's lightweight. Oh, wow. And you are done. Yay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not tonight. I know. I know. I don't know. Have to go I out know. tonight. I don't know. I'm lazy. I'm just like <laughs> lazy old, old, lazy old. I don't know. Oh, What's the right word? Yeah. I um I should go out because I have a lot of people like what are you doing today? And I am. Like, I mean, you're halfway done already. I know. <laughs> just I can do hair your hair real quick if you want me to. Well, what time is it? It's so late. What, what time? I don't know. It's eleven o'clock already. It's eleven o'clock. What home the heck? Right now. <laughs> I would be headed home. Actually, it's like one minute from eleven eleven. Make a wish. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, eleven eleven. I do have. Look, I do have like people like you know wanting. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Um. Come out after like, oh, after party, oh, yeah. yeah. And then like obviously Lindsay wanted me to come to that party in LA. Where, okay, where is Lindsay at now? She's she... in LA probably now. Okay. Yeah. That's um. That like that's we're going insane. back and forth. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna ask go her. To... I I would love to go. You know what? I might just stay local and go oh, step out somewhere because bungalow is open tonight. I know oh, she's got the little know. one, and I know you're driving with her, but yeah. I was going to be like, let's go. I know. <laughs> I, I probably won't step out alone, like, and I yeah. don't really have people I would meet up with, to be honest with you. Oh. And I don't drink anymore either, so That's true. I don't know how much fun that would be. Hey, <laughs> okay. you can still have fun without yeah, drinking, honestly. You know, last time I went to Bungalow, I was with the group, and yeah. but we I wouldn't go alone and not be drinking either, because then, then I really wouldn't be happy. Is that yeah. in Hollywood? No, Bungalow. Oh, yeah. It's right here at the mall that we were just at. Oh, okay. It's it was club. upstairs from yeah, where we were. Lounge, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It turns like later, like right about now, it turns into a club from a lounge. So it kind of oh, gets nice. it gets way more crowded, and yeah. like the DJ kind of turns into more into a club. Oh, they that's turn what the lights down. Like genre of music. Um, I think it starts off like oh look, <laughs> I think it starts off more. Like old school, like like eighties, nineties, like ni like nineties, like what we oh, were like growing so cool. up. So like yeah. when, when I first get there, it's like oh, this is that throwback song, yeah, and, like, yeah. Yeah. and then it comes to more like um modern day stuff, that's like popular, newer school, newer yeah. school, the RB. Yeah, the stuff that's on the charts, you know. That's so dope. The later it gets, though. Right, so. right. Yeah. She said yes. We'll be in LA in thirty. Oh dang! See, there you go. Tell her to pick you up. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um. Should I go to this party? <laughs> I just want to drive to LA. Uh, and she said, she did say like, oh, maybe we can like pick you up, but then I would have to find a way home. And I was like, I can Uber home, but that would be like $60 Uber. I don't know if I want to do that. $60, $80. But how much is it going to cost for you to, to go over there? You're going to have to Uber over there too, right? Well, she said if she could swoop me, if she was, depending on what time we were like done and everything, oh, okay, she said okay. she would swoop me, but... 
chances are she's are she's already out that way. Like I don't think you think this is too much out of her way if she I, comes over here. Possibly, but then I would have to Uber home, and that's yeah. almost sixty eighty dollar Uber. Like, is it worth it? You know what uh, I mean? Like, I'd rather just drive. That's and park true. And take the risk. Yeah, and you're not drinking anyway. No, so. right. Yeah, so that's true. might as well just drive. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm also like, I just want to kind of like go back to editing and like maybe fix my storage issue. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I've been going through like, like right problems. Now. I want to fix my issues. I've yeah. been going through that right now with iPhone storage. It's just not now or. Oh, it's so annoying. I don't know what to do. I just have to delete everything. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what was that? I don't know. I've seen that too. That's so cool. Wait, what is what? that? How did that happen? I don't know. Why is my life doing that? That's so is that somebody doing that? For I her? think so. That's so dope. Somebody said do her hair. <laughs> Do her oh yeah, let's do her you hair. Want to do my hair? Yeah. Okay, like, I want to go get some hair tools. You yeah, let's hair. do what it. Do you do, like a curling iron? Curling yeah, iron. Yeah. Oh, do you have like regular like milk? Yes. Um like milk? red milk. Like whole milk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, entertain the fans. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody. Uh, does anyone have oh questions gosh, for me? <laughs> I'm gonna take a oh, picture. Yeah, so Did you the Come here. Come here. Okay, this is my baby niece. Say hi. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry, but this is what we're working with. I only ever wear my hair in a ponytail now, but <laughs> really, yeah, just because like I'm used to having long hair, and so this is like really short for me, and then also because she had. She had helped me out by putting some extra pieces just because I originally didn't want any extensions, but I had a lot of missing hair. So to kind of give volume, mm -hmm. she put in a couple rows. So it was really nice of her to do that for On me. On the bottom. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I've lost a couple already, but I'm just rough with my hair. It yeah. looks really good, though. Thank like, you. It looks so natural. Yeah. I was going to have her um, do highlights maybe in a couple weeks or like I bought a box. I have a mm -hmm. box. So I was like thinking maybe doing it myself, but I really have been taking the biotin. I just want to let my hair grow out a little bit because it's been looking really healthy lately. Yeah. Nice. Minus the split ends, but <laughs> the roots look really healthy for the most part. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to put hairspray or anything in it, boo? Or Whatever you want. I don't have any. Oh, okay. oh, well, maybe I, I can look. I don't think I have any. Okay. Well, um, we'll wait until we're done. Okay. And if we lose any more pieces, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm gonna curl your hair more like a like a wave okay. like a like loose beachy waves I guess yeah oh and they'll last you tomorrow too okay yeah. I love that yeah um so with extensions they tend to hold curl more too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh that curl looks nice I love um doing my hair with my extensions because like like when I go out on the red carpet like it's usually my hair is really pretty the next day. Mm -hmm. So I really don't style much outside of all that, mm -hmm. but I just feel like a new, like a completely different person, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, I should, I, I just, you know what though? Like to do it every day is a lot. So it's like it doesn't get done every day. I'm it sure is. you, you, you probably feel the same way too. Like to style your hair, you have curly hair, right? Oh yeah, it's yeah. hard to style my hair. I oh recently just got a deep condition and I cut my split ends, like yeah. I did a trim and everything. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I just did her hair for the her with the wing shoe. Yeah. So she has super thick curly hair, you know. Yeah. Um, it's like ethnic hair um, type of fill. And right. I blew I blew dry it, straighten it, and then curled it. And yeah. That took like almost two hours. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I can imagine. Do I have knots back there? No. Okay, good. My hair girl helped me get a knot I had out in the back of my head. Oh. It was pretty bad. It was caused by the extensions, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. With the these are beaded? Yeah, and they like when they grow out, they're just really hard to maintain more just because like I always put my hair in a bun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like yeah. Yeah, I mean it doesn't look it looks good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. My hair definitely looks so good when it's styled. When it's not styled, it looks a hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. But you know, the more you style, the more damage it does to your hair too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm trying not to do as much damage. Just like it's been good not going out as much, right? Because I'm able to like all the dates that I could be going on and like 
all the events I'd be going to, all the photo shoots, like I would have no hair. <laughs> like oh, yeah. I yeah. I would literally be struggling right now. Probably yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pull out one of my wigs. <laughs> what if you, oh you have some wigs? I do. Do you wear them often? No. No. I take pictures and that's about it. <laughs> what color are they? I have a brown one with bangs. Ooh. I have a blonde one, like long blonde hair, kind of like yours, uh -huh. except yours looks way prettier because mine's a, a wig. <laughs> it's yeah. just, you know, it's, you it's can tell cheap it's wig. wig. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but it's long and blonde curly hair. And then I have another one that's purple. Uh -huh. I bought it for a costume. And then I have one that's like unicorn, which is long. It was a costume. So it always gets knots because it, you can tell it's not real hair. Mm -hmm. um, but it has like six colors in it. So it's like very colorful. Oh, cool. Then I have a pink one. I used to love wearing the pink one. If you actually go back oh. on my TikTok, my, my main TikTok page, yeah. you go back to like some of my content. I used to make a ton of content with the pink wig. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> I think Here. I've seen that. Let me pull it up actually for you. I'll pull it up on my TikTok right now. Is it a short pink one? Or yeah, it's like or? shoulder length. Um, let's see. Let me pull up my TikTok. I'll pull up this video. <laughs> TikTok. I don't really use TikTok that often, but. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Profile. There we go, this one. Mm -hmm. Leia loved the camera. <laughs> she was waving to everybody and saying, telling them her name. She is so cute. <laughs> She's such a star. She is, like a natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should put her into baby modeling. I know. She did. <laughs> she won an award. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, true. that's so true. She's a star. She mm -hmm. is. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> the pink hair. I usually would wear it with the, like, I like the, the pink hair. It's yeah. so dope. You're supposed to put your contour on. Oh. The rest of your makeup. See, remember I was oh, telling you? Yeah. Remember I was talking about the contour thing? Yeah. Or like the concealer thing? I was like, I don't know. But yeah, I used to make a lot of content with that. Yeah. Oh, wow. With the pink hair. No. But on Instagram, the pink hair got views. Not really on TikTok, though. But really? Instagram, yeah, that my, so weird. My huh? videos got views on Instagram with the pink hair, but not on TikTok. Not on TikTok, weird. yeah. You would think on TikTok, huh? Yeah, what? I'm sorry. You would think more on TikTok. Yeah, like, right. Like that's what people it's like. More, like the younger crowd. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is like me with like full glam makeup on that I did myself. Oh, pretty. It's like the eyelashes, and glitter. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so that that was the pink hair. I don't know if I really have a whole lot of. Oh, here's like the multicolor. Oh, so she's gonna be I used to Whoa. make I used to make funny videos. But, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> um, but that was that wig. So you can kind of see. I would add stuff. Like I put it in a bun. I was just trying to be weird. Oh wow, so funny. This is embarrassing, but it's out there. <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> I was doing the TikTok trend. Let's see what the date is on this one. 2019. Oh, wow. So four years ago, roughly? Five? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have a purple wig one to show you or the blonde wig. I could probably pull a picture from my Instagram of the blonde wig. Because I did like make a music video on that blonde, blonde wig. Oh, which did? Which encouraged me to get long blonde extensions, like permanent extensions. Yeah. Which is what I had originally. That's where. Lo, well, here's the blonde wig. Oh, that was pretty. I just realized I posted that video. I'm in my bra. <laughs> That's not good. What was I thinking? Sometimes you look back and like, what was I thinking? Right. <laughs> Certain posts we do, and you're like, any video can go viral. That's true. Mm -hmm. So it's just a trend. Yeah. 
I can't read the comments. Let me hop in on here and see if we can read the comments. You want me to read them for you? If you want. I got it here. Oh, you got it? Oh, it says, I, ooh, she's so cute. Oh, hi. Ooh, the crows look I can't hear you. you. The crows look amazing. Thank oh, yeah. you. Alea, come here. <laughs> she, see? She likes to be on TV. Oh, man. You like being on, you want to be, you want to be the baby model? Okay, I'll put you on kids casting. Aww. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, girl, you're gonna look. Are you, are you going to go out tonight, then? Um, no, it's a good question. I might just take a bunch of pictures and just go live a little bit longer. <laughs> I I'm, I don't really like going out, to be honest. And especially if I'm headed out alone. Like, I don't even have anyone I'd be meeting up with. Oh, I'm not going to meet with Lindsay. Like, she's going to be leaving by the time I would arrive. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, like, oh, where's she at now? In, she's in Hollywood or headed there. Oh, she's headed there already? Yeah, that sounds like it. Dang. she th So she came back fast from San Diego? I guess so. Yeah. Uh, from what it sounds like, I'll be in LA in 30 minutes. So that was at 11, 12. It's 11, 40 now. So she's probably about in LA. So she must have been driving back from said location, wherever that was, whether it was point A or point B of her travels. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, we were just discussing, I was like, well, by the time that I like get ready and go and like get there and trap, like just travel time. Oh yeah. I'm like, it'll probably. Well, there's probably no traffic right now. Like what's as soon as you can get to LA? 45 minutes. Really? Without traffic? Yeah. Dang, that's still kind of. Yeah, it's still travel. Far. It's still 45, 50 miles. Wow. That's yeah. far. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. So Sometimes I mean, even just travel time, time would take me. I would have to get dressed. Right. By the time I get there, she'd be leaving. She says she's leaving at one. At one? Yeah. She never stays at places too long, huh? No. Well, she's got a shoot in the morning too, so she just does her appearance and kind of, yeah. Like every once in a while that I've been out with her, we like stayed out to like the after parties, but yeah, that's usually because she doesn't have much to do the next day. So. Yeah. Like a lady. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know what I was saying earlier to Lindsay on the phone? is I'm at a point in my life where I would much rather just crawl up in bed or snuggle up in front of like the desk mm -hmm. and like work or like watch something or like just relax um, rather than being out trying to impress people or, or talk to people or or meet people I've, I've never like I don't mind meeting people but like I really want to exert energy if I'm going to be working. Like if I'm going to be on set or making money or like, yeah, yeah. Um, or if there's like a plan, like a group of people are going out and then it's a plan, but like right. spontaneous, like just going out, hit the club by myself solo, like maybe run into friends. Like I, I, there ain't nobody tonight that I would want to text and be like, what are you doing at 12 o'clock at night? Like, you know, like any guys? No, uh, probably not. You know what I mean? Calls. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, the first thing they think is if you hit them up at this late, like, where are you at? What are you doing? Like, what yeah. bar? What a club? They think, oh, she's going to spend a night with me. Or, like, right. she wants to have a late night. Yep. So and then they're going to take it the wrong way. Yeah, like. they'll take it the wrong way. So I, I don't even want to reach out to anyone. <laughs> then, <laughs> likely, I might run into someone out, but then I don't like adventuring out alone anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so. What? She hit me. Oh. <laughs> she's like, I go poopies. And she's like that. She just hit me. <laughs> Did you um, go poopies? It's time to potty train you if you're letting me know. Yeah, at least she knows not to tell oh, you. Oh, yeah, she went. <laughs> Come here, she knows. Come she here. knows. Come here. <laughs> No, no, just an FYI, the mirror is in view. Of the, uh, just so you know. Okay. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Where is your potty? Give her her passy first so she smells. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the top. How's the condition of my hair back there look? Pretty good. It's all right. I mean, yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, the submission for Style Cruise um, got um, submit, accepted. Style Cruise? Magazine. Oh. The second magazine got accepted. So what does that mean? 
that they're gonna publish it. Um, I'm not sure yet, but it, they just accepted it. Oh, nice. Mm. That's great. Yeah. Have you you've um, been in magazines, right, Jess? A few, yeah. yeah. Actually, there's a magazine over there I'm in. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what is I it for, to... like um, modeling? Modeling, or... Jess yeah. hat. I wanted to do something different because I feel like a lot of photographers, you know, do the work of submitting. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? This time I want to do the work, you know, yeah. and submit the pictures and give me the credit. But also, you know, the people who I worked with, like, they're going to get the credit, too. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just more harder because you have to put in a lot of information sometimes. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, too, like, for submissions, you have to pay, right, for the slot. Yeah, but the right now they're having a deal for December and November. Yeah. Um, that you can do free submissions and te tear sheets until November 26th and December 1st. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was like, I didn't know that. And it's perfect timing because I just had a shoot. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to submit these and then, mm -hmm. you know, go from there. Yeah. I'm definitely um, falling outside of, like, the, the modeling stuff now. Like, mm -hmm. um, when I was, like, 24, I was really involved. I was traveling to New York and, like, L.A. and stuff. Mm -hmm. But now it's more creative stuff, like, you know, YouTube. And content creation. Content creation, mostly. yeah. It can get tiring, you know, like, doing mm -hmm. all this and stuff. And modeling's tough because, like, um, I just was editing uh, a podcast with one of my guests who's a model and we uh we were going over like uh all the things about modeling like how health and diet and like sometimes like self-care and just mm -hmm. mental health is so hello hi is <laughs> so valid to like how you present and perform exactly mm -hmm. alea mm -hmm. <laughs> she's precious i'm getting curls like you yeah <laughs> yeah i agree yeah um, yeah so it's tough and it's crazy because when I was modeling too it was like during the time I wasn't taking care of myself so like my skinniness was like unhealthy like I was it was lack of eating and nutrition mm -hmm. and then I was like drinking a lot too so like I would be so hungover at my runway shows <laughs> and like just such bad presentation of myself and my health and it's like now that I'm taking care of myself more than ever, I'm just like outside of the modeling game. <laughs> yeah. That's so good though, because you know, sometimes you need to take care of yourself and just self-care, yes. Yeah. It's, it's number one. one. Yeah. It is. Especially in, in any entertainment field where you're in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard. It's tough being a woman. Mm -hmm. You know? have to maintain a lot. That's so true. And like, you also don't get as much like respect or like jobs. If like, let's just say you're just not up to kept, like you're not kept up with like, like you'll see like a girl who like may not clean her fingernails or like simply just didn't shave her armpits. And then like, they're not going to put her in a bikini. Like, cause she's just, that doesn't like, they're not really probably going to book her because she's just not, kept up with like clean and like all these things and so you like notice that when you go into a casting they're looking at these things mm -hmm. yeah like yeah. one of the main reasons why agencies never wanted to book me is because i could never show up without makeup on <laughs> without makeup without makeup really because they would want you to come bare face natural. natural and i was just so insecure about my my skin health oh. that i would always put makeup on really so i could never show up to the auditions with no makeup on Oh yeah. wow! And they don't—they didn't like that. No, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought you we were supposed to like go. Oh, for like castings and stuff. Okay. Yeah, for like agencies. Like when you go oh, when you go yeah. into the actual agency, like open calls, and they would have like you sit in the lobby, and then they would take you one by one and interview you. Yeah. yeah. They look like the the, re the request was to show up bare face, so they know what they're working with. Your oh, hair not yeah. stuff. but I could not show up without my hair styled oh, and my hair, yeah. my face bare face, because I was not right. confident. I didn't right. have good health. My hair wasn't in good condition, so I was like, "There's no, no way." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Hello. 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 <laughs> what do you think? It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I love a messier look, so I would probably like do like the. Oh yeah, we could totally yeah. Do you want me to like, I don't know, mess it I up? I feel like something that's not clean and it was in a bun, it probably um, already is like just, you kind know, messy. yeah. Yeah. 
No, it looks good. But you could definitely like fix it the way you want or like. So I usually yeah. go this way on my part. Oh, okay. So I would probably. I wasn't sure. Yeah. So I'd probably like do something like that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Alea. That's cute. She's behind you. These curls are so cute. Oh my gosh. Do you like them? Oh my gosh. If if I had, I, I would be like live living like Lindsay in a way if I had a little more curls up here. Oh, Woo! I wouldn't be like, I'm a Lindsay. No, I'm kidding. I know, right? <laughs> no, I love Lindsay's hair because she's got beautiful, unique hair. Oh, yeah. And it's, it, is that, it's hers, right? Like, it's not a I wig? I think so. No, I don't think it is a wig. I think it's hers. Has she, has Lindsay ever told you if it's a wig or not? I asked her if it was her real hair. Yeah. She said it was. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, believe I love her. the way she, uh, like, the upkeep, <laughs> like, it's, yeah, yeah it's nice. It must be hard to maintain too, just because to make the curls. And to like, how, like, how do you sleep with hair like that? I think maybe she puts it in a bonnet or something. Probably, yeah. Okay, I'm sure so. she uses material too to keep the curls like looking healthy and everything. Yep. All right. So this is a finished look. What do we think? Yay! Do you we like it? I love it. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. I, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys go follow this description. Her Instagrams, both of them are in the description. So make sure you go follow Please her. Please follow me. Give this video a like. Hit the subscribe button. And make sure you guys check out the entire series because we're going to start uploading soon. I know that yeah. I was originally supposed to air it on Friday. And, you know, I just want to make sure I give you guys, like, the best quality content. So I pushed production because... I, I'm still working. All you guys know I'm editing these episodes myself right now. And I want to make sure that if I air it, that I air you guys good quality stuff. So thank you so much for, you know, being patient. And when I do air the full season um, show, I hope you watch and I hope you like it. Yay. So make sure you guys tune in because you're not going to want to miss it. Okay. You're not going to want to miss no. it. No. <laughs> this is the Disney channel. No, just kidding. <laughs> this is, just be careful with her. <laughs> and thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you. That was so fun. Yeah. Should I keep it going or just go ahead and close um, it out? Whatever you want to do. Let's, I can wrap it up. Okay. Bye, you guys.